Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another Buyer Quest song tutorial. Today, a lesson for the beginner guitar players out there. I'm going to show you how you can play Johnny Cash's 2002 rendition of the Nine Inch Nails classic, Hurt. I'm going to take you through the chords needed and the picking and strumming patterns for the intro, verse, and chorus sections. I got all the tabs available for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Just donate a dollar a month, you gain access to tabs for all of my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now we're going to get started with a full demonstration of the tune, then I'll break it down for you step by step. Let's get started. One, two, three, four. I heard myself today to see if I still feel. I focus on the pain. The only that's real The needle tears a hole The old familiar stain Try to kill him all the way But I remember everything What have I become? Upon my liar's chair Full of broken thoughts I cannot repair Beneath the stains of time The feeling disappears You are someone else And I'm still what have I become, my sweetest friend? Everyone I know goes away in the end. And you could have it all, my empire. Okay, close look at the fretboard, and we're getting started with our intro section. The chords will be needed. The A minor chord. I'll break this down for you for all the beginners out there. We have the open A string. The middle finger is on the second fret of the D string. The ring finger is on the second fret of the G string. And the pointer finger is on the first fret of the B string. I also have the open high E string for the A minor chord shape. Now, the next chord we need is C major. Just take this ring finger and bring it up to the third fret of the A string. This is C major. So that is the third fret of the A string, second fret of the D string, now an open G, the first fret of the B string, again with that pointer finger, and the high E string open. Okay, so we're going to have that chord for two beats before moving on to the D major chord. Now, there's actually two different types of D major that I'm hearing in this track and also seen in the music video. So, the chord shape that Johnny Cash is fretting is called D sus 2. Such a cool sound. 
Okay, so just take your middle finger, put it on the second fret of the G string, and your ring finger, if you're fretting it like Johnny, on the third fret of the B string. Open D, second fret G, third fret of the B, and the high E string open again. D, sus two. But you could also use a basic D major chord. Okay, that's my peace sign to the triangle chord. I love mnemonic devices. Pointer fingers on the second fret of the G string. The ring finger is on the third fret of the B string, nice and arched, so it clears the high E string. And your middle finger is on the second fret of the high E string. One of the most essential chords for you all to know, D major chord. Okay, so if you're using the basic shapes, we have A minor, one, two, three, four, C, two, D, two. And you can use that chord progression throughout all of these verses. Okay, very good. Now that you have those basic chord shapes down, you're ready to really learn how to play this intro section. Everything that you learn here, also you're going to apply to the verses. So it's gonna sound like this. The A minor chord is fretted. To the C. All right, just like that. So I took the A minor chord. A string, D string, strum from the G string down. Let that ring out so that way a full measure passes. Then grab that C chord. Basically do the same thing. But return back to the A string very quietly. Okay, you can hardly hear that new. Uh, in fact, I had to slow it down in order to be able to hear what was going on. So far you have A minor to the C chord. Now grab that D sus two. Same exact thing, but now we're going D string, G string, strum, the B string and the high E string, then tap the G string again. Okay, put all that together, we have, real slow. Get over to the C chord, to the D sus two, and repeat. Okay, then you're ready to jump into the verse section. Okay, very good. Now we have the main riff down over A minor, C, and D. We're going to apply that to the intro and also all of the verses. But before you move on, I want you all to know that there's a lot of different variation to that picking pattern. So don't worry about being super perfect. It's a bit of a sloppy track anyway. Okay, now let's look into verse number one. Basically, you already know how to play this. It's just going to be that main riff eight times. The only thing that changes is at the end of the verse, we throw in the G major chord to transition into the chorus. So, let's go through uh, the last line. I tried to kill it all the way, but I remember everything. A G major chord on the word thing. So this is gonna be a new chord for you. We have the ring finger on the third fret of the low E string. Middle finger is on the second fret of the A string. And the pinky is here on the high E string third fret. This is my recommended version of the G major chord because it gives you lots of different options. It's also very easy to transition to C major chord, which we'll need for this song. So G major chord, this is what I call useful G, another essential shape. Okay, taking a closer look at the fretboard, getting started with our chorus section. The chords we'll need, again, that G major chord starts us off. We'll have that for one measure, four beats. Then we have the A minor chord for a full measure. Then we're gonna introduce the F major chord. My ring finger goes to the third fret of the D string. My middle finger, second fret of the G string. And my pointer finger is going to bar across the B string and the high E string. This is one of those chords that a lot of people have problems with because it's just the hand shape and the thumb placement. So make sure you're getting ample pressure from the thumb from behind. You're pulling back on the guitar neck a little bit. You can put a bit of your chest into the guitar for extra pressure. And if your pointer finger is not straight, make sure that it is. And you may need to go a little bit higher so that way you're covering up three strings depending upon your finger shape. All right, all in all, it should sound like this. If you're more advanced and you're watching this and you're wondering, can I just use an F major bar shape? For sure, that will sound even more robust. 
All right, after that F major chord, we have the C major chord, which you already know. All right, so that would sound like this. I remember everything. The G chord, full measure. The A minor, what have I be? And then the F chord, come, full measure. C chord, my sweetest friend. And you repeat that again, A minor. Everyone I know goes away in the end. All right. Now, if you wanted to, you could just use those chords all the way through that chorus. Those simple, kind of beginner-friendly shapes. But I'm going to give you some alternatives here. I really love the sound of that high E string traveling through all of those chords. It's actually a high G note. And so we're going to try to keep that note as we go through those chords. So I'll take my A minor chord, but I'll keep that note. And it sounds like the piano on the original track. I'll do the same thing for the F chord. All right. And then I'm going straight to the G chord for the last two lines of the chorus. My empire of dirt. All right, so if you have all of that together, it sounds like this. Starting from the beginning of the chorus. I remember everything. G chord, A minor, F chord, C chord. My sweetest friend. Repeat the whole thing. A minor, everyone I, F chord, goes a C in the end. Here I'm gonna change it up a little bit. And you could have it all. The F chord keeps that note too. The G, my empire of dirt. We double that chord. Then we're going back to the A minor seven chord again. I will let you down. The F at nine. And then the G chord comes in again. I will make you hurt. And then you're back to the intro section, kind of reprising that section before going into the second verse. Okay, great, now you have the chorus down and you picked up some more professional sounding chords. Just that way you were very clear on what to call these chords. If you add that G note to the A minor, that is a version of A minor seven. If you keep that note and put together your F chord, you don't even need the bar anymore. That is going to be called F add nine. Some very, very professional sound and shapes to emulate that piano sound. Okay, very good everybody. You have the intro, the verse, the chorus down, you're basically ready to perform. The last thing I wanna talk about is the second chorus. And the reason is there's a lot of disagreement as far as what chords are being played if you go on uh, Ultimate Guitar Taps, for example. A lot of these chord sheets are wrong online. So, uh, I'm just gonna take you through it and make sure you have the right chords. Starts off the same exact way. The G major chord. I am still right here. One measure on the G. The A minor chord. What have I become? F. And C. My sweetest friend. Line number two. Everyone I know. F goes a C in the end. Let's jazz it up a little bit with the minor seven chord. Line number three. And you could have at nine, hold the G, two measures, my empire of dirt, our right, next line, and I will let you down, I will make you hurt, and here, instead of going back in the intro, we keep going, A minor seven again, if I could start again, F at nine, G, a million miles away, minor again, I would keep myself, and then just cliffhang, hit the G once, I would find a way, and that's the end of the tune, congrats everybody, now you're ready to perform. Alright everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Johnny Cash's version of Hurt, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, hope you're enjoying the tabs and extra resources. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back, please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.